All right, guys, and welcome to module two in the How's Ecom Secrets course. And in this video, um, the first thing that I want to do is I want to give you a little breakdown of what How's is. I know we talked about it a little bit in the last module, but I kind of want to dig in with you, um, go through it on a screen share here so I can kind of break it down for you and give you a better idea of how it works, as well as towards the end of the video, I want to get to finding products for you to sell. So I want you to be thinking about things that you can sell as we're looking on here, how they may apply to the niche that you're already in, or if you're thinking about potentially starting another store in the future, um, looking at those types of products as well. So to start off the video, I just want to show you. Um, so this is house when you come to house.com. Um, you know, it's got this header menu up here. It also ask you to log in. Um, it's got a home page where you can browse by room, shop by department. Um, but I'm going to start at the top of the menu here. So as you can see, there's three or four actually prominent uh, header menus here. There's get ideas, shop by department, find professionals, and then their little sale menu here. So the first thing I want to look at is this first tab, which is get ideas. Now, remember in the last video where I said that I could best describe it as sort of like a mixture between Pinterest and Amazon. Um, this is the Pinterest section. This is the get ideas bar where you can basically look at idea books for rooms. As you can see, it's like save photo. It's kind of just like pinning something, um, you know, to one of your boards inside of Pinterest, right? So you're like, you can go through and like build rooms, um, different ideas that you have. And it's cool because you can actually click into these and you can see different photos inside of it. And then you can also see related products, um, to, the project now it's not necessarily spot on um, but they do choose some related products for you um, so it's pretty cool as you can see there's some there's some uh, different features you can ask questions on those um, they have some different photo topics and uh, different professionals and we'll get to that a little bit later um, but yeah so this is the get ideas section where you can check out there's even you know this person Chris architects they have a profile on here with 81 reviews and that's essentially what the get ideas section is. This is the section where, you know, um, people that have profiles and sellers alike can post different photos and ideas for uh, different projects. And then people can come on here, browse them and, you know, get ideas ready. And then the cool part about that is, is that on top of that, they can also shop in the same exact place so that and this is where obviously like the amazon section comes in right because you know you have your idea boards and the stuff like this and the pins but then without leaving the site you can also purchase products directly from it relating to those ideas that you may have had so again let's take a look at this shop by department section as you can see there's literally a section for every single spot that has to do with a house and more, all right? So literally there's kitchen, dining, bath, bedroom, living, on and on and on. So there's all sorts of really cool things. And as you're going through here, you may see some sections that may or may not apply to the niche that you're in. Um, and if you do, obviously it's pretty easy. Um, you know, if you're, let's say you were going through our chandelier example, um, like through the rest of the store, through the rest of the uh, um, store modules, um, in the course, then obviously something like this, like you can sell these on house. As you can see, they have all sorts of different um, products that you can sell on house, which is pretty neat. But what if you have something that's a little bit more unorthodox? Um, again, they have a lot of stuff that you wouldn't normally think would be sold on here. Like I wouldn't necessarily think that like outdoor grills or even like outdoor structures, um, like sheds, pergolas, gazebos, stuff like that. Um, you know, I wouldn't necessarily associate that when you say home products, you know, that that would be one of them. Um, but they have pretty much everything that you can think of that's on or around your home inside of, uh, inside of this website. So you can kind of browse around and get some ideas, um, either that are in your niche or related to your niche, um, to really get started here. And again, so if for whatever reason you don't find any products that fit your niche um you really have two options you know you can create an entirely new store that's one option if for example you really wanted to get started on house and it does not let's just say it does not relate to anything whatsoever let's say you're selling automobile parts you're selling car um parts or something like that right um 
that's not, that has nothing to do with the house. So for that, one of your options would be to simply create an entirely separate store if you were interested in this house business model to where you could list whatever you wanted on it. The second option would be to upload products from a niche on house and hide the product ability, availability from your online store while making them available on house. So you can go about this in a couple different ways, but what I really want you to do here, guys, is either way, um, obviously if you're looking at this course, then you are considering starting a store in this. So our options are either, you know, finding one of these, product, these products or a multitude of these products that you can find with your niche to upload to your store. So that's essentially it for that guys. The third facet of house as we can see here is finding professionals. And this is a really cool part too. It's almost kind of like Craigslist where you can go on here and you can find different architects, designers, pretty much anything, right? Like you can find handyman service. It's pretty cool. You can click in here. You can type in your, uh, it's got my zip code in here and you can see all of the contractors around my location, which is pretty cool. And it has their reviews and stuff. You know, it's actually pretty cool. So that's that's very user friendly as well. Um, but that's really what house is, guys. Um, as you can see, I want to go in here too. I want to come into the shop by department one more time to show you guys that um, you know you can come on to here and click on a product. You know, this is what your products would look like on house. Um, so it's pretty cool. And as you can see, you can go to shipping and seller information. It's this kind of tiny out of the way section where you can click on and it says sold by house. Um, if it's by a third party marketplace, then it will actually say the name of like the company that sells it, which is kind of cool as well. That's where you would be featured. Like it says sold by house again. Um, a lot of the times, again, if you find a product that's sold by, you know, it would say sold by your store um, right here. That's where you would pop up. But this is what your product listing would look like. It's pretty cool. Your description goes there specifications go there and so on and so forth so but that's it guys what i want you to do after watching this module is to really get an idea of what you want to sell on house you can come on here at www.house.com and start going through and find something that relates to your niche um, and again if if something doesn't relate to your niche directly um, then you can start an entirely separate store if you want to um because we do want to keep our products some like synonymous with a, since we're building niche stores it wouldn't make much sense again if you were selling automobile parts and then all of a sudden you have some sofas on there right or some kitchen sinks and be like okay why is this on there this doesn't make any sense so we want to we want to have this you know um synchrony on our websites with our products um but again one thing you can do is um, if you do have a separate site, then you could upload products to house and hide it from your online store and just upload it um, to house. The only tricky thing about that is getting approval from house. So it's it's sort of a give and take sort of thing. You're taking a chance at, at doing that. So you really want to make sure that um, going forward that you have um, a website that has some synchrony um, with the products that you're going to sell. So with that being said, guys, go through the house.com website, take a look at the products, find some things that you want to sell. All right. And then once you do that, we'll see you in the next video.